Sampling is the initial stage in any quality control laboratory testing. It is also a critical step as any errors made during sampling can invalidate any results obtained. In some situations, such as erroneous sampling of an incorrect batch, but of an otherwise correct material, would in all probability go undetected. In light of this, the instructor advocates measures to verify correct sampling at the point of source, such as confirmation by a second person, as which happens with other critical steps in a manufacturing process, which rely on human judgment and are susceptible to error. The purpose of sampling is to obtain a truly representative sample of the bulk material. It should be carried out according to scientifically valid sampling plans and based on statistical principles. The sampling plans should also address factors to be controlled to ensure the validity of the samples taken. The procedure should also address any precautions to be taken to prevent contamination or deterioration of the sample. Such precautions should include sampling in specified locations, use of personal protective equipment, and use of dedicated sampling or single-use tools. Any deviations from established sampling plans should be documented and justified, which should include an assessment on any impact the deviation may have on the validity of the sample. All deviations must be approved by laboratory management and authorized by the Quality Assurance Department. All sampling operations should be documented with the following information. Material identity, material stock reference, batch number, sampling procedure used, statistical principles on which sampling is based, if appropriate, environmental conditions, if appropriate, identification of sampling locations, if appropriate, and identity of the persons performing the sampling.